Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. This week I am using the Sweet Pea stamp set from the current Stampin' Up! annual catalog. Uh, these little guys are so cute. We're gonna use this little um, pea pod right here with these cute little faces. And I've made a baby card, gift card holder, okay? So the front opens up like that for your gift card. And then on the inside, you can write your sweet little message. All right, let's get started. Let's do our stamping first because they really are the star of our show. All right, I have cut a uh, perennial postage rectangle from Basic White, and I am just going to stamp these little cuties right in the middle. And I am using Granny Apple Green. We've got lots of greens to choose from. This is probably my favorite green. Get my glasses on so I can see what I'm doing. And we're gonna start with the light. And I'm just gonna kind of give everything a, a layer of light granny apple green. And then we're gonna come back with that dark and add in some shadows. All right, so let's just go over these guys completely. And then you're gonna wanna take your dark and wherever there would be something kind of overlapping, we're gonna just add in that shadow like that. And this guy, maybe she has a little shadow on that side. And then we'll add a little bit of a shadow here. And then let's kind of go down like that. Now take your light and blend that shadow over to the sides, okay, away from that line so you don't have that harsh color, that harsh line right there. And the beauty of our Stampin' Blends is that the colors really blend beautifully and you don't really have any marker, streaky marker lines and it just makes your image so beautiful. All right, now take your dark and color that part in right there. Okay, so now we've got our cuties. Let's color that heart. I'm gonna use a pretty and pink marker right there. And we wanna do one more thing. They look kinda of like they're floating, right? Well, let's ground them. Let's put them on the ground. I'm gonna take my light smoky slate and just add a shadow line underneath like that. All right? Okay, now for the front little mini card that we have, I have made a mini card that is three by four and a fourth. Um, I have cut several pieces ahead of time. We've got our um, charming duck pond paper, little ducks on the back. Of course, the pink gingham is perfect for a baby card. So we're gonna put that right there. Then I have cut a granny apple green um, stem, and this is from the Friends for Life die set, I believe that's the name. I'm gonna have a free PDF for you over my blog. It'll have a supply list there for you. So make sure you check it out. And I'm just gonna stick that on there with dimensionals and then take our little babies and just put them around. And you know what I noticed now? I just remembered what I did. To make this stick out a little bit longer, I actually cut it. Let's cut it. I know you're like, what? so that we can see more of it. Sometimes you have to do a little bit of surgery. Cut it in half and pull it down like that. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put my dimensional right there. And then you're gonna put that there. See how it sticks out much more, you can see more of it. All right, I have got a twine. We don't have pretty and pink twine, but we have flirty flamingo. And they're not the exact same pinks, but I think they go well together. So we're gonna use this Flirty Flamingo twine, Baker's twine, and get us a mini glue dot. If I can get my glue dots to do what they are supposed to do, not roll around my desk. I'm gonna use my take your pick tool and pick it up and put that right there in the corner, okay? Trim off those ends. Oh, goodness. Like that. Let's add a little bit of um, bling. Some uh, pretty and pink dots. 
and we'll just put maybe three. We'll put two up here and one down there. Now to create the pocket on the inside, I have uh, the, this is actually this piece right here of DSP is two and seven eighths by four and an eighth. And when you cut off that four and an eighth part, you have this little piece left, which is perfect for our pocket. So I'm just gonna put adhesive on three sides like that. And we'll put this down here and that creates the pocket for your gift card. Now I have cut out an, a little label from Unbounded Love and you know, I think I stamped it in Pretty in Pink, yep, and I did not bring my Pretty in Pink ink pad over here. So let's just use Granny Apple. Welcome Sweet Pea, right there. Another couple of dimensionals. Right there. Now, if you want to keep your uh, gift card closed, you can get these little button magnets and I'll have a link for these. They are from Amazon. I use them a lot. They're very inexpensive and I'm just gonna put a glue dot on either side and we'll put it right here on the edge, close that and then we have well, my paper's not dry yet, so of course it's pulling the paper up. There we go. All right, see how that opens up like that? Okay, now for our card, we're gonna add some polka dots because I just love polka dots. And we're gonna use the Round We Go stamp set. There's a little um, polka dot right there. And I'm gonna use Granny Apple Green. And I'm just gonna take my circle and just kind of, really you just only need to do around the border. All right. And I'm trying to kind of create a pattern. I've got a tiny little bug crawling around my desk. I don't know if you guys can see it. He wants to be part of the video. Not invited little bug. Never know what's gonna happen during a video. Okay, there we go. Now we'll just take, we've got some stamp and seal on the back. And we're gonna put that right there. And then I'm just gonna put a little piece of basic white on the inside. And you know, I left the inside naked. So let's just add a couple of polka dots. I think that would be kind of fun. You could stamp one of the little peas in there too if you wanted. All right, there you go. A really easy baby card. Fun, perfect for a gift card. Now, remember, check the link. There's <laughs> that little bug. He won't leave. Check the link here on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, go back to my blog and get that free PDF that has measurements, supplies, and two other Sweet Pea projects. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.